Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to make a set of geo coasters and a tray. Now I can only fit part of the tray on but I'm only doing the same thing on the tray as I'm doing on the coasters so I will uh, talk you through it, the bits that you can't see but you will be able to see what I'm doing on the coasters. I'm going to be using some um, of the glass chips that I've been using quite a bit recently because I, I just like them um, and I'm going to be using opaque pigments and some um, indigo blue mega flakes which are the, just the um, the metallic flakes and they're in the colour Yorkshire Dales which is perfect for the colour scheme that I'm going with because it's a green and white colour scheme and these are sort of green and gold colourways so I'm going to start off by adding my um, crystal chips I'm adding them to the coaster and to the tray I will be putting more in the tray than I will in the coasters I'm just going to put them on one side in the coasters I want them to have a little bit of height to them so they stick up a little tiny bit but not too much in the coasters. I like a mirrored one, I don't want that one. add these and then I'll talk you through the colours that we're actually going to use. Okay so I think that's about the right amount in each, each of the coasters there. So I'm just going to add the glass chips to the tray. yellow one there which I don't want I'm just going to add the chips to the cut to two of the corners so, so it's one at the top and one at the bottom and again I do want a little bit of height so they do stand proud a little bit Okay, so I think that's it for the glass crystals. I think that's about right. Just bring those up a little bit so that they'll stand a little bit more proud if that's it. Put the lid back on before I knock them everywhere. I would hate to have to pick all those up. Um, and just let me grab some cups for my colours. I'm using three pigments, they're all opaque pigments. The first one I've been wanting to use for a while, it's a resin 8 pigment which they all are and this is called Wild Sage and it's a lovely sage colour. Uh, the next one is um, called Scots Pine and it's a really dark green colour and then I'm using resin 8 white pigment. So I'm going to add some um, resin to the cups that I've got for my colours. Most of it's, I'm going to add most of it into my white because I want more, more white. Then the next largest amount into the um, the sage colour and then the least I want in the Scots Pine because I don't want that to take over. And I've probably just put a little bit too much in that one. So let's take some out and add it to the others. I can always put it back in the clear as well. There we go. I'll just get some stir sticks. I 
to start off by mixing this wild sage up soon as I've been wanting to use it for so long. So just take the lid off. And to give it a good stir. Then get a decent amount on my stick and pop it into the, the cup because I have got quite a large amount of resin in the cup which is why I've put quite a large amount left on my um, stir stick there. So I'm just going to give that a good stir. Yeah, I've been wanting to use this colour for such a long time and I've not known which project to use it in. And then I've just I've thought today that I'll do this these coasters and this train. I thought that it'd be a perfect colour for them. And then I've seen the Yorkshire Dales um foil flakes and thought, oh that'd be perfect to go with the with this colour scheme. I've got quite a bit of clear left so I'll probably end up making more colours up. I should probably use bigger cups to be fair. Um, next I'm going to do the white. So again I'm going to give it a stir in the pot. I'm not scraping it off, I'm just going to pop it straight into my cup. It's a good stir. I think I've got a hideaway tiny piece of foil in there as well, but it doesn't matter, it'll just go into the resin and into the overall design, so it doesn't matter. white mixed and then onto my Scots Pine which is the one that I've got the least of or the least resin in my cup ready for it should I say. So I'm just giving it a stir in the in the container. I am going to scrape some off but not too much. I've not got as much resin in this one. Pop that into there. I like to use the cup this by squeezing the cup onto the stick. I like to use that to to scrape the um, the pigment off the stir stick, and it works wonders. But you can't do it the cups full because the resin goes absolutely everywhere. Right. Okay, so I've got my colours ready. I've got a little bit of resin in my. Um, foil flakes. I might need to make some more foil flakes but I'll go with that for the moment. I've got a hair, let me just get rid of this hair. Stuck to my stir stick. Right, so first of all I'm just going to go over my um, crystals with some resin and just seal those in. And the same on the tray, you should be able to see the first one that I'm doing in the top corner of the tray. And I'm just going to do the same in the bottom corner of the tray as well. it's also a good opportunity at this point once you've got a little bit of resin in 
um, to um, get the right height that you want with your crystals you can move them about a little bit more and they do stay put a bit better just do the same on the coasters So I'm going to start off by pouring, um, I think we'll go with some of the sage green to start with. This is only my first layer, I'll put a second coat on which will be my heat resistant layer after, after I've done this one, but obviously I'll need to wait for this to dry first. I'll do the um, coasters and then I'll do the tray. So then I'm going to put, use some of the white. And in the middle I'm going to put some of this Scots Pine. I've missed white on the last coaster there. And I'm going to try and replicate the same on the tray, or as best I can, as close as I can. But I'm going to do. I'm going to do it in two halves. So I'm going to put um, the sage at the top and at the bottom as well. I'll have a little bit in the middle as well. I think we'll do it in stripes, sort of diagonal stripes. Then we'll do some white. in the middle with the Scots Pine. I just need to make some, some more of the Scots Pine I think. Or maybe I might just have enough. I don't want it to overtake the dark. You need to be careful with the darker colours because they do tend to overtake. So I might not make any more Scots Pine. I might just use the clear and the lighter colours on the rest of it now. I'm definitely going to make some more of the sage up though. bit more of the white. down these edges Thank you. 
I'm listening to getting quite warm already now. Got a little bit of the sage left. Tiny bit of clear that I'm just going to add in places just to give me a little bit of a, a potential for um, a clear space. Go over my um, glass crystals with it as well. I think my crystal chips in the coasters are all pretty much covered, it's just the um, just the tray where they might not quite be covered enough but I can always put some more on when I put this next coat on as well so that's not an issue and then I've just got left my um, metal flakes I've got my gold well but they're, not, they're not all gold the, um, the Yorkshire Dales flakes which I'm going to put around the um, glass crystals to do the same on the tray and on the coasters Yeah, I think it's nice not to have just necessarily plain or plain gold or plain silver ones. It's nice to have a mixture. Um, and when I saw the Yorkshire Dales colour way, I thought that goes perfectly with the colours that I was using. So I was quite happy with that. Just adding those around the crystals. that in the middle it doesn't matter too much but I didn't really want it in the middle and that is it that's all I'm going to do with them so I'm going to move the coasters out of the way now. I'm going to well, I'm, first of all, I'm going to move my arms out of the way so that you can get a good look at the coasters. Then I'm going to move the coasters out of the way and show you the, what the tray looks like. And then I'm going to leave them to cure up until tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll put the final coat on, which will be the heat resistant layer, and then I'll pop the handles onto the tray. Uh, but be, I'll bring it. I'll come back and show you what it looks like before I put the handles on the tray, and then I'll just show you the finished result once the handles are on the tray. I'm just going to feather this out a little bit more in here. Rather than have blocks of colour, I'd 
rather have it sort of feathery and I think maybe the same in the the coasters as well although maybe not as much still want to keep the um, the definite um, sage on one side and white on the other side with the Scots pine in the middle but I want just want to feather it in a little bit there so I'm happy with those um, so that's the coasters first of all so I'll move the coasters out of the way now and then I'll show you the tray um, so you can see the coasters I'm just going to take the coasters and pop the coasters off to one side so that it can start curing now here's the tray you can see the bits that you've not been able to see while I've been working on the coasters as well so there's the tray you can see that I feathered it in more on the tray um, so we'll see how that turns out and I will be back um, as I say tomorrow to put the um, the second coat on which will be the heat resistant layer and it's also food safe too um, which is another good thing about it so I'm going to leave that to cure up with the coasters um, and I will, I'm taking it away and um, I will say bye for now and I will see you very soon see you soon hi welcome back I'm going to demold a tray and coasters that I made yesterday I'm going to start off by demolding the tray and then I'll do the coasters I'll just release it all the way around and then I'll turn it over and um, peel the mold away from the back that usually that's usually the easiest way to do it on these molds I think my mould needs a good clean after this one. The back's very nice. The back's lovely. Um, the way the back's turned out. Anyway, <laughs> we're on the front because we've got the crystals on the front. I do like the way it's turned out. I'm going to put the handles on. Um, and then I'm going to take some still shots with the along with the coasters which I'm about to unmould in a minute and um, I'll take some final still pictures add them onto the video and then they'll be available for you to see along with the video but I am happy I'm really happy with the colours um, I think sage is making a big comeback at the moment especially for kitchens and things so I thought it would be nice and as I said yesterday I've got this sage colour that I've been wanting to use for quite a while so um, that's turned out really nice I'm really happy with that so I'll pop the mould to one side pop the tray to one side and let's do the coasters there's no real surprise because you can already see what the coasters look like I'll just demold them all and then we'll have a look at them. I've got a little bit of overspill on that one, just a tiny little bead. Pull that off. And the same on that one, just a tiny little bead. And again on that one, a little tiny bead. There we go. I'll just pop the mould to one side. Got a little tiny bead of overspill, but I think I might. Oh no, I've done it. So I might need the deeper until I manage to do it. Really happy with those. I like those. I'm glad I um, left. I'm glad I swirled the tray. Um, the colours in the tray but left them in the coasters because I just think it makes it slightly different but still um, a matching set and I really like the glass crystals on there as well it just stops your glass your, your mug or your glass or whatever it is sliding off um, but I'm really happy with those I like those yeah I really like those So um, I don't think there's any, any, I don't think you'll get a better view of them with the black card, but I'll give it a try just in case it helps give a better picture. Um, I don't think it really does because I think you can see them quite well without the black card, but I'll just show you with the black card just to make sure that I've got you the best picture possible.
Yeah, I'm really happy with those. I like these glass crystals. Um, I've not used them for quite a while and I've used them in a few projects recently, but I really do like them. So that's that. So I'll take some still shots, as I say. I'll add them on the end of the, of the video and um, I'll pop the video up for you to see, but I need to put the handles on the tray first, um, which I'll do today. And then um, I'll be ready to take the, the pictures. So that's it. I'll be back with the other experiment soon. So I'll say bye for now. See you soon.